after church, we made prawlings. Everybody in the neighborhood knew it, so everybody was at our house. <laughs> I said, Mama, why they gotta come? Everybody's eating up everything. I started making pralines when I was eight years old. I'm from a very large family. There were 12, five girls, seven boys, and I stayed in the kitchen with my mom uh, making candy. It's very special because the recipe that my mom used uh, when we were children came from her mom, and that recipe came from my grandmother's mom. And they told me, Miss Loretta, you're not a librarian. You shouldn't even be here. No coincidence. God hand is always in the mix. The jazz festival was looking for a praline vendor. So I threw my hat in. And I've been doing pralines for the Jazz and Heritage Festival for 41 years. After Katrina, we had offers to go other places to set up a store and build there and not come back to New Orleans. But my city had always been good to me, so I would not leave her when she was in distress. So what other better place than to go back home and rebuild? And the secret ingredients of my calling is passion and love. When you do something because you love it, then it's not work. 